All right, welcome to this video. In this video, I'd like to just talk about how we take some data, or how we take some data, and we convert it. We we're going to use categorical data, and we're going to put it into a segmented, or sometimes called stacked bar chart. And we're going to look at why why would we want to do a segmented bar chart rather than a regular bar chart um, for our categorical data. So here I've got some categorical data. I've got a type of drink at a restaurant. So somebody went and, um, and got uh, 50 males and 50 females and asked them what type of drink do they get at a restaurant or maybe they were coming out of the restaurant. And um, you know, 25 males said that they drank soda and 10 maybe another flavored drink like Gatorade or, or something like that. Or lemonade or uh, you know, some iced tea, something different, not soda. And then how many just got water? And this is given by male and female. So this is a restaurant, type of drink at a restaurant by customer gender. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take these data and we're gonna, this is categorical data. So categorical data are best represented in pie charts or bar charts. So we're gonna take a bar chart and this is the bar chart of male and female data given by um, soda, flavor, drink, and water. And so we can see the differences in, in what they drank. But suppose we want to take a look at the parts, um, looking at, at a relationship between the parts to whole, and meaning uh, we want to see a relationship between um, the entire total set of data um, given the parts of each of them for male and female. So um, we're basically what we're looking at is uh, uh, the categorical distribution here, the categories here, as, a po as it relates to the total distribution. So let's, what we would do in that case is we would form a segmented bar chart or sometimes called a stack bar chart. So here you see a segmented bar chart. And so what we're able to see in this segmented bar chart is the parts of the female and male, par <laughs> parts, excuse me, the, the parts of the data belonging to the female and the males, and how that, how that compares to the entire data. Notice here that the male and female um, drink, people that, that chose those drinks, are equal, both 50. But clearly, the female restaurant customers drank a lot more water than the, than the males did. So we can see that here easily seen as a total it's like the parts of a total than we could see in this regular bar chart so we would make a, a, a segmented bar chart uh, suppose we another reason we would want to do a segmented bar chart if if our data here were different like our totals were different and we wanted to uh, see a percentage of how many the percent so we would actually make them equal by by turning all these into percentages. So let's take a look at, at what that would look like. So uh, here I have same idea, only this time uh, we have 100 males and 50 females. So we have different amount of totals here. So what I'm gonna do is take a percentage. So here I converted these to a percent. Um, and we've got a percentage of females and the percent of males that chose soda over you know, the other drinks. And we're going to go and convert this into a um, segmented bar chart. And a segmented bar chart, again, will give us a total amount. And it's good because these are equal now. They're ones, uh, 100%. So I'm going to, um, this is in Google Spreadsheet here. I'm going to um, shade this region here. And I'm going to go to Insert, Chart. And I'd like my chart to be uh, up and down. It could be sideways if you wanted. Um, let's go to charts, and there's my, it's called a stacked column chart in Google Spreadsheets, but I can just use it as a, this is a segmented bar chart, and we're gonna insert that. So let's change the chart. Oh, I can change the charts, I don't like it. So insert, so here we go. Okay, so um, this is um, type of drink by gender, okay. And their uh, flavored water now didn't, the legend didn't come out because I didn't, it doesn't have soda and water. I should have titled these, you know, I should have titled these as soda, flavored water in total. It would change it. But we can see here that um, this is similar to what we had in the other graph. Only now 
it's 100%. And we can see that the females, you know, more than 50%, you know, more than 50% of the females were, were water, whereas the males, you know, even less than that whole amount were going to be the uh, water and flavor drink. So well, we can see this parts to a whole easily in this picture as opposed to our um, regular bar chart, which won't, wouldn't show that. So if we were doing this by hand, we would just do the exact same work here and we would label our axes with percentages and we would just go up to the top of whatever that percentage was, male 50%, and we would shade that area in and then we would stack the next part, 20%, so 50 plus 20 is going to be 70. So we're going to go up to 70% and shade that area in and then go all the way up to 100% so that this entire stack ends at 1. Okay, so that's a segmented bar chart in a nutshell. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know. Thanks a lot.